Hi everyone, Mr. Erdreich here with another 3D printing tutorial and tip. This one we're going to be replacing the PEI film on our glass print bed. So what is PEI? Well, it's a membrane that goes on top of your glass bed, kind of like a vinyl sticker or something like that. But PEI expands when your printer gets hot and then retracts when it gets cool. So that way it expands and it grabs onto your print while it's printing. And then when it cools, it simply releases the print for easy part removal. So how do you know it's time to replace your PEI? Well, a print that slips off the bed, so poor bed adhesion, usually is not a sign. So if you're having poor bed adhesion, that's usually due to another thing, whether it's the wrong temperature, or maybe the bed needs to be cleaned, or maybe your Z offset is a little off. But a PEI sheet needs to be replaced when it starts to wear and starts to impact your printing. So perhaps there's a gouge or a rip in the PEI film, or like mine, perhaps it's actually starting to peel and it's causing lots of ripples and bubbles. Now, this is a slightly tedious process, but overall it's pretty easy to do. What you're gonna need is a replacement PEI sheet, isopropyl alcohol, and potentially Goo Gone, some type of scraper or razor blade, a squeegee, definitely a lot of paper towel, and a heat gun. Let's take this bed off and let's dive in. Removing the print bed is gonna look a little bit different from printer to printer. On my Lulzbot Taz 6, I just need to remove the leveling washers. These are used for the auto bed calibration and this holds down the print bed. So using an Allen key, I can just remove the four leveling washers and then the bed pops right out of the printer. Now on these older Lulzbots, the heater is actually attached to the glass bed. So when I lift up the glass bed, I'm also lifting up the heater, which means I need to make sure that I remove all my wires before removing the print bed. Now, because the heater is attached to this glass bed, I need to make sure that I protect all of my cables. On many other models and even newer Lulzbots, the, the heater is detached from the glass bed, so this isn't normally an issue. Next, we need to actually heat up the print bed. So I'm gonna be using a heat gun to consistently heat this. You could actually use the internal heater. However, I don't like to do this process while the bed is still attached to the printer because I don't wanna accidentally damage my printer or harm any parts in any way, which is why I like to remove the bed and just use a heat gun to apply some heat. We're gonna evenly heat this to soften up the adhesive, which for this one should be pretty easy because it's already peeling. And then we'll be able to actually remove all the remaining adhesive. Now you have to remember that this is gonna be hot and sticky. So you definitely wanna wear gloves and keep yourself protected as you work with this. So now we need to remove all of this excess adhesive. So I'm going to apply some heat, isopropyl alcohol. Using a razor blade, I can work off the adhesive that's being softened by the heat and the isopropyl. As you cut, again, make sure that you're protecting your hands and always make sure that you're cutting away from yourself. If you do have a harness, like I do, make sure that you're very cautious around the cable. When it starts to peel poorly, it's time to wipe off the excess, reapply heat and some new isopropyl and keep going with multiple passes until all the adhesive has been removed. After I feel like I've gotten most of the adhesive off with the isopropyl and a razor blade, I use a thick layer of Goo Gone and multiple passes to clean off all the remaining goo. Using a couple isopropyl wipes, I'm just gonna wipe down the surface one last time to make sure there's no remaining things that could mess up the new PEI surface and bond because we want a nice clean surface before we adhere our new PEI sheet. What I'm gonna do using my squeegee is I'm going to first remove just part of the PEI sheet adhesive, get it lined up on the bed, and then use my squeegee to evenly from the center out to both sides, apply it, avoiding any air bubbles. It's supposed to hang off the edges so that way we can trim it after applying. Using a squeegee with a felt tip, I can apply the PEI without worrying about damaging the surface. Once applied, we're gonna use a brand new razor blade, not the one that we've been using to scrape off all of the excess glue to trim the edges very carefully and very accurately. And be careful because both the knife and the PEI sheet are really, really sharp. Last, we have to return to our printer and reinstall this so we can start printing. The last thing you wanna do is gouge into your brand new bed. So you wanna make sure that you readjust all of your Z height offsets and recalibrate your first layer height just to make sure everything is fine tuned and as it should be. 
For me, I like to look that my first layer is just a little smushed, making sure that when I run my finger over, it doesn't easily peel off the bed. So, super easy replacement, and now that we have this nice new PEI film, our print should be solid. So make sure that you maintain your PEI film, which if you want, check out my other videos for general 3D printer maintenance. This should last another 50,000 hours or many, many years as long as it's well maintained. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future project videos and let me know what you think down below.